guys, today I'm gonna be doing a first impression on two products So I'm kind of calling this a first impressions of a brand because I've never tried makeup from this brand before and I'm pretty excited Today I'm trying out Chanel for the first time. I bought two products I have the Perfection Lumiere Velvet which is the foundation and then the infamous Soleil the Tan Which is the bronzing cream from Chanel. I apologize from the very pale look I need to tan and I apologize for the background do you guys like my little plant there? This side looks very homey. This side is completely empty. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. Let me just start by saying that this is not gonna be a first impression where I go throughout the day and kind of update you guys. I know I love those first impressions as well, but this is just not the day for it. But this is gonna be just my overall thoughts of trying out this brand for the first time because I mean, it's a very high-end brand and it's something that you kind of just splurge on. So I wanted to just see how they worked and I wanted to show you guys how it worked. So let's get right into the first impression. Woo! Let me first moisturize. Hmm. Okay, so I'm actually gonna use, cause I got a little tester of a moisturizer, which was very kind of Chanel. Thanks Chanel. Oh, I got a little tester. I think this is an anti-wrinkle cream, which is great. I love anti-wrinkle cream. Oh my God, so cute. Look at this adorbs little thing. Let me see. Are you gonna focus? I'm having major, major problems. So this is the Chanel La Lift cream. I will apologize in advance for my pronunciation of things because I don't hablo French, I hablo English. So I'm just gonna start by just trying this out. Ooh, feels so luxury. I know I use a lot of stuff in my videos that are quite expensive but i'm always excited when i get new stuff i'm not used to luxury stuff i've always been using drugstore so i will be making more videos using drugstore products okay so let's start by reading online what this foundation uh says it's gonna do um this is not the original Perfection Lumiere. The Perfection Lumiere Aqua is quite dewy, I believe. This is the matte version of that. And uh, let us look. It has SPF 15 and I got my color in 20 beige. Hopefully it's the right color because I'm gonna kill someone. Someone's gonna die today if it's not the right color. I hate going back to change my colors, just FYI. This is a cute little packaging, you get 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce, which is just basic eyeshadow or basic foundation measurements. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, so let me see online what this says to do. Do you see how large my phone is? Anyways, so it says here, perfection has a matte is matte finish, lightweight and oil free. The unique formula of this fluid foundation provides a long lasting matte velvet finish and a soft focus pigments with soft focus pigments that smooth and perfect the skin for a flawless look that lasts all day. Nice. My F80, I think you can apply it with, I don't know, I'm gonna try with this one because it's my favorite way to apply it. Uh, either this or a sponge, obviously. So let's shake this. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I am so nervous right now. Okay. Ooh, okay, it is very liquidy. Are you gonna focus? If I just, you see, it just drips. Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty lightweight to me. I don't know if that's what you say. Ooh, it smells kind of florally. Floral it smells really good. Okay, so I'm pretty scared of the color, but I think it's gonna match. Oh, it's very lightweight. I don't know how this is actually, if this is gonna be very covering but we see i have a little blemish there i don't know if you guys can see it i have blemishes everywhere it's just like a, a daily day of my life i do see that you have to use quite a lot so i don't know how long this foundation would actually last me but we shall see so i'm gonna take the f80 i'm gonna start holy shazam okay so it covers like a dream guys how is that even possible? I don't know if you guys can see this, but it literally feels like I'm putting nothing on my face. It feels like I'm just dragging this 
brush all over my face with nothing but it is covering ooh, it is covering like an absolute dream holy schmoly <laughs> i didn't want to like this you know why because then i'm gonna keep going back and wanted to buy it okay so the color is perfect the guy matched me perfectly which i'm very happy about because i do not like having to go back and the coverage is absolutely amazing i don't know if you guys can see this just completely ruined my, my eyebrow but it's super lightweight i it, it looks like skin but it looks like perfect skin <laughs> and it does have that um it's not completely matte it does have that velvety finish like it says on the packaging it definitely is not completely matte you don't look flat and it feels oh my god it feels like you have nothing on your face like literally it's so lightweight and it feels like your face is still breathing and this is just one layer and i can definitely stop at that you see i have this blemish here but this is just one of those annoying things that just like pop out but i'm gonna apply a little bit more on this cheek just to see if it gets cakey it doesn't get cakey but i'm telling you guys you don't have to apply more than one layer mm -mm. this and it smells so good it doesn't have a strong smell but it smells really like like lightly florally i don't know how to really explain it better than that and it applied very well with the f80 i love it i love it so much so a plus for the foundation you can see um i don't have any perfecting light this is all natural light you, as you guys can see it looks very natural on the skin it doesn't it's definitely not full coverage but it's definitely look at that it definitely covers like any redness that you have and I don't know if you guys can see this it's just so beautiful and it kind of has like even though it's um, matte it kind of like makes me glow a little bit oh my god so time for the Soleil the Tan this is a bronzing makeup base I hear a lot of people talk about this and they say they love this for um, contouring and sculpting the face so I really wanted to try it and let's open it okay let's just talk about Chanel packaging I can't okay I know it's an expensive brand but you gotta give it up for this packaging it's absolutely beautiful super sleek super pretty and i think they only have one shade of this and this is 130 grams so i think this will last me a long time but let's open it up it will for me it definitely looks like a moussey texture let us <gasps> i'm touching it i'm touching it i'm ruining it i'm touching it Okay, so it's definitely a very weird texture. It's kind of a moussey texture, so I feel like it kind of dries a little bit uh, powdery, which is great because I don't want to look like a grease ball. So I'm going to use my contouring brush from Real Techniques, which is a synthetic brush, and I think this is the best way to, to actually apply this. I am so nervous right now. I'm just going to grab some on my brush. How much do I use? I didn't, use, I didn't look at anything. I'm going to just tap some on the back of my hand. I definitely need some more okay I don't think I'm doing this right because I can't see anything can you guys see anything okay maybe some more okay there we go I'm gonna play it on the bottom here it gives a very natural look though which i love because this will be amazing for the summer it's definitely not a heavy product it doesn't feel heavy at all you see there's my other side there is the bronze side this is how it looks and then if i go on this side it does give a very natural finish it's very natural and it doesn't um, look too heavy at all which I like I think this is a perfect product for the summer because it doesn't feel heavy so I feel like it's gonna stay on really well in heat and such but like, I think the more you use it the more you're gonna learn how to work with it 
But what I really like with the product is that you don't have to use a like you don't have to be scared about the, oh here you go okay there we go. So don't be scared to just like work the product into your skin because I think that's what I did wrong on this side. I didn't really work it in as much. As you guys can see, it gives a very natural, like, sun-kissed look, which, who doesn't want that? I mean, I don't think maybe it's the best product to contour with. Maybe it's a good product to have as a base under your contour, but just to use this for contouring, I don't think it will sculpt the face enough. But what I can see right now is a beautiful, natural bronze, bronze look, which I love. And uh, I'm back. <laughs> so uh, my final conclusion of this foundation and this powder is I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> while I was doing my eye makeup and while I was just finishing up my whole look, I was just staring at my skin and how flawless it was looking and how it looked like I had nothing on at all. It was just my naturally flawless skin and I was just in awe. I love this foundation so much. If you have oily skin, this is a perfect foundation for you. I think it controls the oils perfectly. I have not applied any more powder on my cheeks, just a little bit on my T-zone just to make sure because I do go quite oily during the day but I think this is perfect for us oily skin girls. I think it's perfect for dry skin girls as well because I really don't think it's gonna grab onto any dry patches at all but it they do have the perfection lumiere aqua and i think that one will be perfect if you want that little bit more luminous look but this is definitely not a flat foundation i'm not wearing any highlighter at all and i still feel like i'm glowing a bit like a highlighting powder i still feel like i'm glowing a bit and i still feel like i'm looking like that glow it's coming from within it's not like something I put on. So I'm very pleased with this foundation. Cream bronzer is absolutely gorgeous as well. It's just a really nice natural tan. I think it's gonna be perfect for the summer when you're not wanting to wear that much makeup and you just wanna put, throw on something and you don't wanna feel heavy. This is the perfect product because it's such a light, moussey texture that when you put on the skin, it kind of just becomes one with the skin, just like the foundation. It, they're not heavy products at all. So I highly recommend these products. I think it's a very expensive, um, I didn't even say what price it was. Oh my God, this one was 42 euros, I believe. And this one was 42 as well, I believe. So they were about, both around 40 euros. I'm, I don't know how much they would be when you live in America, but for me, they were about 40 euros each, which I think it's an investment. I mean, this costs as much as the Estee Lauder foundation. I don't know if it's going to last as long as the Estee Lauder foundation because you, it's quite runny. You kind of have to use like a little bit more than when in regards to Estee Lauder, you kind of just put on blah, 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 and then it covers the face. Anyways, so you guys, like this first impression if you want me to do more of these i am happy to do so because i have a bunch of new products that i want to try out and i have bought actually so just let me know if you want me to do some more first impressions or if you want me to do an in-depth review on this foundation i can do that as well so hope you guys have a wonderful day or night or whatever and i will see you guys in my next video